Hi, Leos. Welcome to August 2022. It's going to be a big and exciting and intense month ahead, especially given that Mars, who is a planet of fire, will be doing some serious action in your sky during the month of August, as well as the big boom on August 1st and 2nd. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Lori Lothian, your lunatic astrology astrologer. And if you would like to check out all my offerings, I've got courses below my sky reader intro to astrology eight week courses starting in um october get on the wait list and early bird discount notice as well if you want to do that you might want to take out my intermediate level divine timing master class in september or are you an astrologer who doesn't know how to make your business run and make a seriously good living doing this stuff i can show you how that's my rock your astro biz course all the info in the links below all right and ch check out my newsletter too, cosmic moonshine all right you'll see all the details in the description box now let's get going and talk about the highlights of the month ahead. Now, one of the things I want to say about this, and now it's sunny and warm after being cold, so I'm going to, only for you guys, take my clothes off. Uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the, there's so much going on this month, so these month ahead can't cover everything, but I want to talk about what I think are some of your highlights. Now, everybody is talking about this big triple conjunction of the North Node, Mars, and um, Uranus, right, at 18 degrees of Taurus, are really kind of July 31st, August 1st and 2nd. Now for you, this is going to be important, really significant. However, and there's a big but, I'm not going to repeat the wheel and, and do this all over again because I did this material in my big boom reality shift video. I'll put the link in the description box. Check it out for the real details of how that big boom will impact you in a way that changes your life for the next 15 years ahead and just as a teaser it's all about your career leo big changes in your purpose direction reputation and career a reset that's starting now and will go into the next 15 years all right keep it in mind um so we're not going to repeat that but i will be addressing the big boom when i get to the mid-month forecast you'll see what i mean in a second one of the sweetest parts of our sky of August is definitely going to be Venus trying Neptune. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, art, and money, trining Neptune, the god of imagination, unconditional love, uh, sweetness, uh, arts, and, and, and pleasure as well, if it's pleasure in the arts. Uh, he does real filmmaking and photography, glamour. Now, if this is at all going to be uh, an interest to you, I'll like, let me keep you talking about it. So the way this works is that Venus is going to be sitting pretty in her um, sky style in cancer where she's cozy homebody full of like um, wanting to make comfort and pleasure muse and fuses one and of course Jupiter is moving through your and so this is happening Venus is moving through cancer in your 12th house this is a very subtle place. This is like maybe foreign lands and travel, but if it's not that, then it has a lot to do with your inner life, how you um, perceive pleasure and joy and what you desire from a deep, deep level. I hate these little strings in my clothes. And you will find that these deeper, subtler spiritual energies that Venus is evoking in your 12th house will love up and flow into your eighth house of money that doesn't belong to you. So this could be a really sweet spot for a just a little dip into some money opportunity an investment, a speculation, a tax rebate, money from a friend, but it also could be something to do with your occult mysteries and magic. You dream of a dead person. They, they bring a message to you. You have an encounter with an archangel. Uh, you see um, the way the world really works from your uh, ESP vibe. Okay, some magical, mysterious, beautiful things are happening. Um, just why, well, the other thing this could be is a secret love affair that's beginning to open up for you. Uh, a, where you're extremely having some extreme bed pleasures, the 12th house, but it's secret from the rest of the world. All right, that's a possibility around the 7th and 8th of the month. Okay, Leo. Next of all, I want to mention this mid-month time. It goes from about the 10th to the 12th, and it's the beginning of a period that's uh, the onset is caused by the full moon at 19 degrees of Aquarius. It will reawaken it will reawaken the big boom that's opening up this door of a reset in your purpose, direction, and career. The big double door swinging wide open to this new career path for you. And so this a, this particular full moon puts the, of course, the sun in Leo, you're all vitalized and full of your energy on the 11th of the month with the moon shining brightly and full in your seventh house of your marriage and business partners, 
all square, in other words, making a T-square to your house of reputation and career. Now, this can be some friction for sure from your significant other or your business partner that is at odds with what you're trying to fulfill in your 10th house. So keep that in mind. It may feel tense. On the other hand, this is also possible since the Seventh house is the marketplace audience and clients for your 10th house, 10th from the 10th, that you're going to have a big opening, a big light shining in the house of clients. Some kind of shift in your work and business is taking off here. Or seventh house is legal documents, contracts, signing on the dotted line with a new job opportunity or offer that's opening up for you that may have been engaging in the beginning of August, the big boom, right? August 1st and 2nd, for example, and then, whoa, big, bright energy shining into agreements, uh, collaborations, signing legal documents, seventh house stuff that impact your reputation, career success as well. No doubt about it, you guys have been called as Leo Risings to expand into a new career since the beginning of this year, since January through to July of next year, as that North Node in Taurus is really asking you to helium balloon up where you wanna go in your career and change it up for sure. This is a new time for you, a new reset of purpose and career as you draw away your energy from the time you spend with your family, those you live with, and your domestic home life. Now, a little bit later in the month, there's going to be a couple of other lovely endeavors going on in the sky. Uh, one of them is that Venus is going to move into Leo on the 11th of August at the very same time of that moon. At the same time, there's also going to be this um, or just following that, there's going to be this Mars trine Pluto on the 13th and 14th. So let's talk about Venus in the house of you starting August 11th till the end of the month. Well, <laughs> you're just going to love how you feel. I mean, it's that simple. You're going to be happy with yourself. You're going to feel you like yourself, others like you. You're popular, you're appealing, you're charismatic, you're persuasive, and you may change your hairstyle, your makeup style, your wardrobe. This is a once a year refresh of you in all possible civil ways, cosmetic procedures, if you want, you know that, that you got the drill. Um, this is your time of being you in a more beautiful way than normal. <laughs> and it's up to you what that means. You know, like, I mean, maybe you love the way you look and that's fine, but Venus will make you more beautiful, more charismatic, more po popular, but happier and more joyful and more in your own groove. So it, it works on all levels inside and outside of you. Okay. The other thing I'd say about this is that you have this uh, following in the heels of Venus on the 11th moving for the rest of the month, moving into Leo. You also have the energy of this Mars going into a flowing, harmonious relationship from his position in the late degrees of Taurus to Pluto in your sixth house of health and work routines. Now, because a lot of what's expanding is your workhouse. To me, this is a more of that story. This is some kind of impressive powering up opportunity or direction opening in your sky around your work, around your job, around your profession. And Mars can only do this trying to Pluto from this particular stance in the sky once every two years. So we want to pay attention to how it's angular to your natal first house. It's a very important moment for you. And I would say it's a powerful new level of momentum in some direction or purpose expansion you're doing in work, career, profession, and job, okay? Um, it feels to be exciting and really happy for you. Uh, the next thing I want to bring up is that, you know, there's this really weird gnarly month, part of the month around the 21st to the 23rd of the month, where you're going to have a Neptune opposite, um, sorry, Mercury opposite Neptune, and at the same time, trining Pluto. So what is this about? Mercury will be going through your second house of money, earnings, and possessions, and he will be opposing Neptune in the house of joint finances with your spouse, um, bank monies, loans, mortgages, um, spousal, like alimony, palimony, all that kind of stuff. Uh, credit card, credit card debt, and stock market stuff. So there's this really weird time here in the, the 21st to the 23rd where Mercury may be trying to expose something to do with some secrets or hidden information or illusions or delusions that you may have around money that you share with another person. And yet at the same time, there's a trying to Pluto, which makes everything very powerfully positive 
at the end of the day. And in fact, a trine follows kind of on the heels of the perfecting Mercury opposite Neptune. Now the Pluto is in your sixth house of work and work routines, which I mentioned, and this is going to be Mercury in the house at earnings. So it could even be that there's going to be a boost in your earnings, 21 to 23rd of the month. Well, at the same time, you kind of uncover something you needed to see that was hidden from your view around your treasure chests of money, you know, your 401k, the way you have money shared with a business partner or a love partner, that kind of thing. There may be the dispelling of an illusion or delusion in that regard. The next thing I want to say is that we do end the month on an extremely sweet note. And I'm going to bring up two different things that are going on. Mars will move into your 11th house of good spirit and be there till next March. And if you want to get great financial gains from this exciting new career direction, favors from friends and larger social exposure, you are off to the Martian races as Mars goes through that 11th house and begins to really galvanize whatever is expanding in your career zone. And that's a very rare long transit because he will retrograde there later on. And secondly, the not, the other thing is at the end of the month, there is this incredibly intense um, Virgo a sun squaring Mars. Now we're going to talk about that before we end on the high note. So the sun in Virgo <laughs> is in your money house, right? With that Mercury. And that's going to be the energy around the 25th to the 29th of shedding a spotlight into your money story you know, your earnings, your finances, your possessions, the way you earn money, how you feel about money, your values around money, centering your soul and your alignment with money and, and, and seeing that everything's all lined up. But with that square to Mars, there is tension here. And that's that Mars in your house of great gains from your career. Remember, I just told you how lovely that is. And it begins on the 20th. Now, here's an example. You may not be comfortable making this much money. You may be unsure that it's okay. Or you, and conversely, you may be realizing you're charging too little and you need to vastly raise your rates but you have to square away with the fact that you know you may feel insecure doing that or you may be realizing you're not getting paid enough money in your job and you have to tell somebody in the hierarchy of the organization right that could be mars in the 11th what's up or lastly somebody in the organization that you work for is giving you some kind of friction regarding the money you're making like a jealous colleague or coworker or friend. So there's this tension between those areas of your sky to be dealt with between the 25th and 29th. And yet at the very end of August, there's this lovely, lovely energy of Mars sextile Jupiter, which is very once, once every this sextile happens, this type of sextile happens once every two years. So it is to be treasured. <laughs> and Jupiter, of course, is the god of luck. And now what we like about this mostly for you is that Jupiter isn't a fire sign. He's moving through backwards, but through the sign of Aries. And therefore, he is in a flowing, lovely, love up, superior trying to your body your health your wellness your sense of identity you're getting some really great jupiter juice while he's in aries and he'll be there by the way all the way to next may minus a hiatus um, between october 28th and december 20th so you're getting a a huge rare once every 12 year jupiter love up of you leo okay especially rising sign leo especially in this case right now any rising sign between like let's say oh i don't know three degrees and 11 degrees of Aries, you're really getting it, or sun and moon as well. Now, with this energy of, of Jupiter doing the Aries movement, trining up and loving up your first house, Mars comes along and says, I can give everybody a boost. <laughs> let me help you know he's like um how can i how can i help what do you need from me and he does that from your 11th house of good spirit this is a lucky house guys this is like a little bit like fairy godfather or fairy godmother so mars can mean a man right uh, for instance a male figure uh, who is going to offer you an opportunity a favor or uplift in something that you're doing that has to do with higher education learning foreign lands trips and travel and so who knows, August 31st, keep your eye on the ball for that or winning a legal 
situation that you've been working on um, and finding that this is going to be where you win the day, August 31st, and everything falls into place in your favor. And, you know, the ninth house is also what you think your life track is, your dharma, your purpose, the meaning of your life. And Mars is supporting some clarity there. But because he is going through the house of friends, right, and social networks, there's definitely something good coming to you from a friend. I mean, Mars is sextiling your ascendant and he's sextiling Jupiter. And this is a really good August 31st, give or take a couple of days on either side. Get ready for some favors from friends and high places that benefit you in your learning or travel or book publishing, if that's the thing you do, as stuff and connecting very strongly to a sense of well-being as well. Thank you, thank you for listening, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit my bell for notifications because then my channel grows and then more people get to hear this content and it really helps me a lot. Um, I really appreciate that you're here and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you um, in the next video. Ciao, Leos, have a great month ahead.